So if you consider these questions, you see that it's just one and the same thing. It's a repetition. You just need to go through as many questions as you can. All right. So on this question we are given, that's another typical exam question that we have here on question 4.1. Write down the fourth term in each of the following number patterns. We are given these number patterns. So, guys, you must study and see what is happening from one term to another. From one term to another. All right. So, the first one, this is one. This is four. This is nine. What is happening? So when you are dealing with number patterns, start with the constant difference. Before you think of the ratio, start with the constant difference and see. So let's find a difference. 4 minus 1, that is a 3. Find a difference here. Uh, 9 minus 4, which is there's a difference of what? A difference of 5. So if we check here, guys, the difference is not the same. The difference there is not the same. We try to divide, all right, the ratio. We're going to divide 4 over what? 4 over 1. So it was going to be 4 over 1, 9 over 4. Guys, the ratio is not also the same. So what is happening? All right, there are terms which are like this, or there are number patterns which are like this, that you are supposed to study them. All right? Like for this one, recommendations, at least four terms in each pattern make 4.11 a bit challenging. For example, 0, 3, 8, uh, 1 less than the square number, this and that. So what is actually happening there? We saw that the difference is not there. There is no difference. There is no ratio. So figure out, let's say there are numbers 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven. I want you to see these numbers. One is a perfect square. It's a square, remember? Four is also a perfect square. Nine is a perfect square. Is it in this order that we are just squaring one squared, two squared, three squared, uh, four squared, five squared, six squared, seven squared? Is it that order? Yes, one squared, it's one. Two squared, that's four. 3 squared, that's 9. 4 squared, that's 16. 5 squared, are you seeing that is what was happening? 1, 4, 9. 1, 4, 9. So it means the next term or the fourth term was going to be what? A 16. That was the concept. That was what is uh, we are having the fourth. They are saying write the fourth. What is following? So you have to start the guys and see. There is 2, uh, minus 4, 8. If you check, positive, negative, positive, guys. Again, it's another thing. What is happening here? All right, let's try to divide this one. Minus 4 divided by 2. Minus 4 over 2. That's a negative 2. All right, 8 over minus 2. 8 over minus 4, sorry. 8 over minus 4. That's a minus 2. So as we can see, in our case here, there is a constant ratio of minus two. So it means from one term to another, we were multiplying by what? Minus two. It was two times minus two to get a minus four. It was minus four times a minus two to get a positive eight. Minus times minus, that's a positive. So it means eight times what? A minus two is going to give us what? A minus 16 plus and minus. So the next term there was a minus uh, 16. It's not always, guys, where questions are supposed to be direct. Sometimes we must study properly our pattern, like this one. All right? So this is what we're supposed to have. The first one was going to be 16. This one was going to be negative 16. All right, let's consider question 4.2. The sequence below shows blocks being arranged to form an L shape. The pattern one, pattern two, pattern three. So as you can see, they're saying copy and complete the table. On the table, it's about the pattern number, pattern number one, pattern number two, pattern number three, and so on. But related to what? Number of blocks. 
not number of sticks to say this is a stick. This no, they are saying number of blocks as it is like this one. It's a complete block. You must read properly what you're given there. On those ones that we're drawing those triangles with those sticks, they were saying number of sticks. You're counting one, two, three. If they say number of triangles, guys, you're going to take the whole triangle as it is like one triangle, another one. Uh, how many triangles? One, there are two triangles. Another one, three triangles. You must answer exactly what is given here. They are saying number of what? Number of blocks. So we are going to count the blocks that we have. So for the first pattern, how many blocks do you see? That's one. So this is the one that we see. What about pattern two? How many blocks? One, two, three. There are three blocks. On pattern three, one, two, three. Three, four, five. There are five of them. So the question was, we are supposed to copy and complete. We are supposed to complete five, six, uh, I mean four, five, and so on. So the fourth one, how many were you going to have? So that is where the study concept comes into a role to say, we are supposed to study and see what is happening. From one to another, from one to another, what is happening? There is, or we are simply adding two blocks. It was one block like this. Look, we added two blocks. There are now three, all right? These three blocks like this, look, we added two blocks to get what? Five. So we are simply adding two blocks from one to another. So there's a difference here. Three minus one of two. Five minus three, which is a two. So we are simply adding two blocks to get another one. You must add what? Two blocks to the previous. To the previous pattern. So that is the condition. So meaning to say on pattern number four, we are simply going to add two because this is five. So to get the next one, we add a two. Five plus two, that's a seven. Five, we also do the same. Seven plus two, which is a nine. So if we're going to add, guys, I want you to see here, this is... 9, in terms of the number of blocks, we were supposed to have 9 plus 2 to give us what? 11. Meaning to say we were supposed to have an 11 here, but it's not there, as you can see. It's not given. There was supposed to be 11 here, which is corresponding what? To pattern number 6. But look, they skipped that one. They went to 13. So it was 11 plus 2 to give us this 13. So 13 is for pattern number what? 7, not 6. This one is now for pattern number 7. So the number that we are supposed to write here is what? It's 7. What about 12? So there's 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So pattern 7 is 13. What about 8? Pattern 8 was going to give us what? 13 plus uh, 2, uh, which is 15. Pattern 9. Uh, 15 plus 2, which is 17. Pattern 10, uh, 17 plus 2, which is 19. Pattern 11, 17. Uh, 19 plus 2, which is 21. Pattern 12, 21 plus 2, which is 23. This was going to be 23. So how can we avoid like writing each and every, guys, we are adding 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, like that. We can simply have the presentation of the pattern. It's unfortunate that you see these questions. They ask this type of a question where you, you are supposed to start. You're going one, 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 one. Then at the end, they ask you a question like this one. Write down the general. They're supposed to start with this one so that you substitute back into the pattern. But when it is like this, it's like you have to study, guys, what is happening from one to another. They're supposed to study. You see now. So understand your diagrams. It's nothing. All right. Uh, let's answer this one, which is uh, following. They are saying, write down the general term of, for the number of blocks, number of blocks per pattern in the form of TN. All right, so that's 4.22. Remember TN, where we have a constant difference like this part that we are having here. We are talking of what? A constant difference. Where we have a constant difference, guys, this one is now a repetition. We say it is what? The constant difference times the position plus what, what must be added to give us the term in position. So already the constant difference, this one, 
we calculated this uh, and we got what this effect we're seeing this not to say we calculated but we already saw that there's a difference of what of two so that's our two there so what must be added to give us the term in position just use anyone so you can use the first position t1 is equal to what t1 is equal to one so if t1 is equal to one it means one is equal to what? this one here. It's the one that we are writing here. So one is equal to two times n. n is the position. Tn, Tn, n is what? Is one the position. So that's one plus what must be added. So that was going to be one is equal to two times one, which is two plus what must be added. So take this two to the other side. That's one minus two. It was going to be a negative. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it changes the sign. So that's negative one. One minus two, which is negative one. So what must be added is what? Minus one. What must be added is what? Minus one. So therefore, our Tn is equal to what? 2n as it is here plus a minus one. So you're supposed to have a minus one plus and minus is what? That's a minus like this. So this is our TN, the one that we are going to answer for any question representing the position, any part. So that's our TN, 2N minus what? 2N minus one. Just like that. Okay, so let's revise, guys. Let's revise, do as many questions. So answering this, you're going to be able to also answer question 4.23 because it's just a continuation from there, which is use the answer in 4.22, which is this one, above, to calculate the number of blocks in the hundredth pattern, in the hundredth pattern, when n is equal to 100. Substitute there, just like we had before. So T100 is what? In place of n, it's two times our position. n represents what? Position 100. Just like that. So it was going to be 2 times 100, which is 200 minus 1, which is 199. So that is, we are going to have 199 blocks. That is the condition of our question. That is the condition of our question. So as we can see, guys, it's all about revision. It's all about revision. Do as many questions as you can. Try to practice as much questions as you can uh, that can help. So we'll see in our next class.